Chapter 7, Exercise 7.49. For each of the reactions, calculate the mass in grams of the product formed. When 3.65 grams of the underlined reactant completely reacts, assume that there's more than enough of the other reactant. So in this chemical equation, we will use 3.65 grams of barium to produce barium chloride. We can assume there's enough chlorine to gas. Uh, how do we tackle this problem? Uh, we look at the balanced equation. We see from one barium, we get one barium chloride. From one mole barium, we get one mole barium chloride. So really, if we know the number of moles of barium, we know the number of moles of barium chloride. And finally, we convert the number of moles to the number of grams. So here's the calculation, 3.65. That's the grams divided by the molar mass of barium. All right, now we have the number of moles of barium and then multiplied by the molar mass of barium chloride. We have two chlorine atoms, so two times 35.45. Uh, this is the molar mass of chlorine and we'll submit. All right, uh, we use the same strategy for all three other parts. Uh, again, one to one ratio, so it's easy. We have 3.65 grams uh, divided by the molar mass of calcium oxide. Calcium is 40, oxygen is 16, and then multiplied by, uh, over here, this is calcium carbonate. Calcium is 40, carbon is 12, and we have three oxygen. Uh, and then submit part C uh, over here it's still one to one ratio in the equation uh, it gives you two to two ratio but uh, it's really one to one so 3.65 divided by the molar mass of magnesium which is 24.31 we get the number of moles of magnesium and then multiplied by the molar mass of magnesium oxide uh, in which there is one magnesium and one oxygen all right so one magnesium one oxygen uh, I'm assuming the ratio is one to one because you can see here it's two to two so two to two is one to one part D all right this is a little different if you start with four moles of aluminum, you get only two moles of aluminum oxide. All right, but still uh, the method is similar. Aluminum is 26.98, uh, or you can use 27 grams per mole. It does not really matter. All right, now we are looking at the number of moles of aluminum. But four moles of aluminum can produce only two moles of aluminum 2O3. This is aluminum oxide. So I need to take the ratio into account. All right, and then finally, the molar mass of this aluminum oxide. We have two aluminum, uh, 26.98 is the molar mass of aluminum, and we have three oxygen each is 16. Now we have the answer.